a trial balance is an accounting report that the listed balance is in each of a company's general ledger accounts. The debit balance amounts are listed in a column with the heading debit balances, and then the credit balances are uh, listed in another column with the heading credit balances. And then the total of each of these two columns should equal each other. <clears throat> the normal accounts listed in a, trial, in a trial balance are cash, accounts receivable, inventory, fixed assets, accounts payable, accrued liabilities, notes payable, equity, revenue, cost of goods sold, salaries, payroll taxes, rent, and then other expenses. The purpose of the trial balance, the, the base difference between the, an adjusted and unadjusted trial balance is are the amounts in the adjusting entries. And the purpose is to prove that the value of all the debit value balances equal all the credit value balances. Four examples of the type of adjustments needed could be the accrual of expenses that were incurred but not recorded, the accrual of revenue that was earned but not recorded, and then the deferral of a payment, and then the deferral of a receipt that is deferred to the balance sheet until it is earned in a future accounting period. And then once the adjustments are made, you create a post-closing trial balance where you make sure debit and credit accounts equal each other. And then it contains real accounts only since all the nominal accounts have already been closed at that point. <clears throat> the four financial statements created from the adjusted trial balance are the income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, and then the sta statement of ret retained earnings. The income statement determines revenue and the cost of goods sold amount, calculates the gross margin, determines operating expenses, calculates income, income tax, net income. The <clears throat> the balance sheet calculates assets and then the liabilities and equity of the company and divides them up into subcategories. The statement of cash flows splits up the company's activities into three categories, operating, financing, and investing. The statement of returned earnings states the retained earnings from the previous year, adds net income adds from the income statement, subtracts dividends, and then prepares the final total. The major sections of the income statement are revenue, profit, expenses, net earnings. The major sections of the balance sheet are assets, liabilities, stockholders' equity. The major sections from the cash flows are cash from operations, cash from fin financing, and then cash from investing. And then the closing balance. The major sections from the retained earnings are assets, liabilities, and then stockholders' equity. The accounts. The accounts in the income statement are sales revenue, interest revenue, gain on sales of assets, cost of goods sold, expenses, and then losses and net income. The accounts in balance sheet are all current assets, including investments, equipment, long-term liabilities, accounts payable, and then owner's equity. And then the accounts in the cash flow statement, or on the statement of cash flows, are all accounts that affect operating, financing, and investing activities. So basically deferred income taxes, accounts receivable, accounts payable, accrued expenses, unearned revenue, sales, sales for uh, purchases of marketable securities, cash also, and then for return to earnings, it's cash, accounts receivable, debt, equity, capital, retained earnings, and then stockholders equity. And that is the end of my video.